Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to the end of the video today. Red Cup Flag taking on Crook Town, uh, V2 Buff. Just a bit, but like one place, I don't know what I'm going to be points for. Uh, but I've got Red Cup Flag. I did cover both their games between these two sides last season. Red Cup Flag won this fixture 2 0 last season, won away from over 3 2. So hopefully we can get a win again. Uh, and being a free wins up a free of this level for Red Cup Flag against Crook. See what happens. Come on, run at him, run at him. Yeah. It's 1 0 to the Steel and Kane. Donny Oldworth, I think it's for, is his first goal for the club, at least in competitive matches. That's what he made pre season, I think, but I don't know. Uh, great goal. We've been dominating the second, first half so far. Um, and it's 1 1 as I say that. Right, as I'm recording this, a goal has just been scored by Crooktown, which you will see footage of just now. Uh, oh, 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 oh. A dual lamb it's scored by, so it's 1-1 one, one now, we'll see what happens next. And it's 2-1 now, that literally the time between the first goal from his group and the Cooks on second was five minutes! Oh! This is, uh, this has not gone well. Uh, it's actually, it's ironic because I got was a penalty and we actually got two penalties last season. So, not away from one to Crook and we actually got two of our goals. Were actually penalties and then the other one was just happy. I remember that very well. Well, um, I remember the other one was, was it, the one in the first goal was, we had three goals that game and then we made a free two. Yeah, uh, hopefully we can get back into this and get because there's I mean, plenty of time still left. It's about 30 minutes in. But, uh, that's ridiculous. We'll see what happens. Not too much possession now. It's actually important for another radio. I couldn't hear. But when the second goal after his red goal played, made it 2 1. It's 3 2 now, by the way. Um, and then I was wrong, point for another radio. So you might see actually in the footage that will be shown. You might see him in the corner. Or we might. I was actually reporting for an over radio on live. It was, it was going good. It was a uh, match of looking with the first goal, and then Isaac Walker was the first of two goals to make it 2 all. And then uh, Isaac Walker with the third. Uh, Brandon also with his sixth, but I've, I'm probably going to get him an interview, ask him for an interview after the game as he's got his goal and an assist now. So great game. Uh, that's what literally happened. The first, all these five goals happened in about in less than 15 minutes. It's crazy. <laughs> See what happens now. It's 5 2 now to Red Breath Lake, a hat trick from Isaac Walker. What a brilliant hat trick from uh, him. It's ridiculous, it's just like watching Brazil. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens down. Right, guys, I'm joined here by the St Red Breath Lake manager, Steve, and uh, he's a so called hit man, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Steve, a great win today, obviously. For, uh, what do you think of a good team's performance? Um, we're happy with most of it, Jacob. Obviously, uh, we went 1 0 up deservedly, did a great goal, and within three minutes, we were 2 1 down. That, that can't happen. We, we, can't, mm. we can't have situations like that. Um, two minutes of madness, not managing the game very well. Uh, fair play to the boys, they've responded really well. They've scored the goals today, they've taken some chances and overall we're delighted with a, with a home win. Obviously not playing in the last two weeks uh, since the RCA game, that must be very difficult to come back to football. 
Uh, actually, the other way around. We, we've just signed three new players, and in those two weeks, we've been able to have three training sessions with the three new players, and we've been able to work on something um, in particular, which, you know, three training sessions is a luxury in the Northern League. Um, so, yeah, the, the boys put that into practice for the most part today. And uh, yeah, we're, we're happy to have a, the odd Saturday off if it means we can train and then come and get a win. Uh, uh, Ryan, what do you think of the season so far at Redcroft Lake? Well, you know, I'm hoping today is uh, a bit of a marker for, for how we're going to push on for the rest of the season. So I just thought it was a great advert for, for non-league football today. You know, I think the efforts that we're making down at the ground to have a bit of entertainment before the game, after the game, the weather's nice as well. There was loads of goals. You've got 22 lads that are all within a sort of stone's throw from, from where their respective clubs are. And I think that's a really, you know, a, a, a good distinction versus, you know, what the professional game is, is these days. And I think every single fan that came in the ground today, they've seen seven good goals. They've had a great time. I think they're going to go home happy. And hopefully more of the same for next week. Thank you very much to both of you for that. Thanks, you. Right guys, that is the end of the video. Uh, obviously great 5-2 victory today. Uh, thank you to Steve and to Ryan, who uh, he wanted to join in the interview. People are like, why did you interview him? Because he wanted to join in with the interview. Uh, Steve brought him along, so... so that ends by asking the final question, because it'd be rude for him not, me not to ask him anything. You know, uh, thanks to them both. That was uh, quite nice. Uh, I've been asking... I've had to go interview Steve we were, a few times last season, but... He, would do it well actually I only asked him once he said he was no he didn't want to because of his accent I remember um but anyway that's the end of the video I uh, hope you've all enjoyed the enjoyed watching uh so yeah that's great victory obviously today uh next up uh will be there was going to be a match originally going to be a match on Tuesday night here at Redcliffe Lake against Ashington but that's been called off because Ashington have got a replay in the FA Cup now I think drawing a game today uh, so that won't be happening um, then. So the next video will be uh, Red Town versus Bolden, uh, Bolden, who, if anyone, some of you might have seen my, my uh, YouTube shorts of announcement, I did work for Bolden as, as the media man following my life has did a few weeks because they were taken over by a local media company. Um, so me and everyone else in the media team was relieved of that duties. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be next week whatever that will be but yeah i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you so please do leave a like and leave a comment down below so next time bye